Hello guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel where we talk about all things e-commerce, fulfillment, and logistics. Today I'm going to be letting you guys in on a little secret. I'm going to be telling you all about flat rate packaging and when and how to use it. So guys, there's a lot of different things you can do with your packaging when you're selling items online. And today I want to tell you guys all about flat rate packaging. We've all seen that commercial on TV with the post office where if it fits, it ships. And flat rate packaging can be an important part of your company's distribution strategy as well. Now, I recommend flat rate packaging, especially for small sellers. Flat rate packaging works for everybody depending on what they are selling and what they are shipping and you know what it weighs, the size of the object and things like that. But if you don't have good discounts with any carrier that you're using, flat rate packaging can be a way to get the most out of your shipping strategy. So if you're a smaller seller, you don't have custom rates or negotiated rates, I'd highly recommend taking a look at flat rate shipping. One of my favorite advantages of flat rate shipping is you always know what you're going to pay. With normal standard ground service or two-day service, you usually pay different amounts depending on where that package is going. So you might pay less if it's going to New York than if it's going to California, depending on where you live. So with flat rate shipping, you know that you're going to pay the same amount of money no matter where that goes. And that really helps you when you're running a business to calculate how much money you're making. What is your real margin? Because, you know, when you're selling online, you got things like store fees. You got like cost of goods sold, COGS. Um, you got advertising. You got shipping. You got all these expenses. And you need to know exactly how much money you're making at the end of the day. So I find that flat rate shipping makes it really easy to do that math. The last benefit of using flat rate packaging is that it is free. It is absolutely free. You know, if you've ever bought packaging to ship something out that you sold online, you know that boxes can cost a dollar, two dollars, sometimes even three dollars. Envelopes can be like a buck twenty-five. Packaging is just expensive. And when you use a flat rate service, especially with uh, FedEx or the post office, they give you your packaging absolutely free. You don't have to pay for it, and it's included in the price of shipping. So even though you might save a dollar by shipping it in your own box, you might actually make more money in the end of the day using a flat rate service. So that's something to keep in mind when you're calculating whether to use a flat rate service or rather to use general standard shipping services. Where I find that flat rate shipping works best is when you have something that's small yet really heavy. Think of things that are metal, think of things that are ceramic, think of anything that's really heavy or dense that, you know, would cost a lot of money to ship because it weighs a lot. But it's small enough to fit in one of these package types that we're going to discuss in a little bit. This is when you get in that sweet spot and you're able to make a lot more money using flat rate shipping. A great example of how I like to use flat rate shipping is with bulk uh, cutlery. So for example, let's say I'm selling, you know, a spoon, a knife, a fork set. And you know, this thing can be pretty heavy. This thing can weigh eight, nine, 10 pounds. But you know what? It packs in a box about this big and it fits in an envelope. So because of that, I'm able to leverage flat rates within my business to make a lot more money. So something I might've paid $18 to ship, I'm now paying less than $9 to fulfill. So like I said, that's just one example of how you can leverage this type of packaging. So guys, all three major carriers have flat rate packaging. So whether you're using the post office or you're using FedEx or you're using UPS, you can still leverage the power of flat rate packaging. So guys, what I want to do now is take a second and explain to you how each carrier's flat rate program works. So first, we're going to start with the good old post office. So the post office has two types of envelopes for uh, flat rate parcel shipping. Uh, one is made of cardboard and the other looks like this. It's a bubble mailer. Uh, you know, both of these are relatively cheap and easy to use. 
The packaging is free for you to use, so you want to take advantage of that. You can pick it up at any post office, or you can order it online. So this is a bubble mailer. These are really good, especially if you have something that needs a little protection. Another thing they have is they have their flat rate boxes. So here's an example of a flat rate box. The post office has all kinds of flat rate boxes. They have everything from small boxes to medium boxes to large flat rate boxes. And they have some special ones for, you know, board games and things like that. So, you know, you're really going to want to look at what your post office has to offer in terms of flat rate shipping and make sure that you are leveraging it. Because like I said, this is absolutely free. If I went to Staples and bought this box, it would probably cost me $1.50, $2. So, like I said, you really want to take advantage of that when you can and when it makes sense. The last thing I want to point out about postal flat rates although it's completely irrelevant, is that the post office has other boxes you can take for free when you're utilizing their service. So if you're shipping priority mail, just feel free to walk into your local post office and say, hey, I know you guys have some free boxes. Can I take a look at them? Because you might find that there's a box size that works for you and your products, and then you don't have to go out and buy that at Staples, especially if a lot of your packages are going with the post office anyhow. Next, we're going to talk about FedEx. So FedEx is probably my favorite carrier at this time because uh, they do a lot of really interesting things. And right now, they have the most flexible flat rate program, in my opinion. So right now with FedEx, you can use their flat rate program to ship both two- and three-day express shipping. So super fast shipping and it's super reliable. So one of my favorite products of theirs is the flat rate pack. So the flat rate pack is, you know, pretty nice pack. When we compare it to the size of the post office pack, you right away is realize it's, it's significantly bigger. You can fit a lot more stuff in here. So, you know, I use this to ship all kinds of things from hoodies to cutlery to you name it. If it fits in here, a lot of times it works. And, you know, it's pretty affordable. It's a pretty affordable program, just like before. It's padded. It works great. Uh, they also have non-padded packs that are just a hair bigger. Uh, you know, not of note, but the air takes up less space because you don't have all these bubbles. But it's a great tool to add to your arsenal. I really recommend picking up some of these because it's just a great service. If you need to get something there in two days to comply with Amazon Prime or whatever, it works great. FedEx also has, just like the post office, boxes. FedEx has both small and medium size boxes available in their flat rate program. So they have two different types for each. They have two mediums and two smalls. So you can get the one that fits your product. Uh, these are also relatively affordable. But what I think is really cool about FedEx is not only are these free packaging, but if you want to use your own packaging, you want to put your brand on there, you want to do something like that, their program is similar to UPS at the same time as being similar to the post office because they let you use your own packaging. And you can find on their website what dimensions fit each kind of packaging. So you can be shipping something in your own box and yet it might qualify for this flat rate program. So that's something that's really cool to keep in mind and it can save you a lot of money and give you phenomenal customer service because it's getting there in two to three days. So guys, the last company we're going to talk about is UPS. So UPS does something that I alluded to earlier with FedEx, and that is they allow you to use your own box. So UPS has what's known as simple rate, which is you can ship anything in a box up to a certain size, and there's like five or six of these tiers, for one rate. So, you know, if you're shipping something in a box about this big, it might be $9. You're shipping something in a box about this big, it might be $14. But they all fit into these different baskets of pricing, and it makes your shipping super simple. One of the benefits of using UPS compared to FedEx or the post office is that they have three different types of flat rate programs. So with the post office, you're going to get two to three day shipping because it's all priority. With FedEx, you're going to select between two day shipping or three day shipping. And it's going to arrive in either two or three. But with UPS, you can use their flat rate program to ship both standard ground 
as well as two and three day select. So that'll allow you to ship at different speed rates uh, for different amounts of money. So it's a really flexible program and that's what's great about it. But they don't give you the free packaging. So, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off. But you're going to want to find out which of these programs work for you and how you can implement them into your shipping strategy. This is an opportunity to get creative and save some money and also add some predictability into your shipping plan. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could just take one eensy weensy second, just a tiny second and give us a like, give us a comment, give us a share, get us out there. We really want to get to a thousand subscribers. It's a big benchmark for us and we want to get there and we need your help. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every week and coming back to the channel. We're going to be putting out new content every single week. So we need you to come back, come back, watch some more, share some more. We'll see you next time.